On this episode of Let's Play Through, we're traveling to South America, to the country of Ecuador, a country filled with colorful places, friendly people, and surprisingly, some great golf. Our first stop in this three-part series will be the city of Guayaquil near the coast, where we'll see if we can climb 444 steps to the very top of the city. We're going to taste a few local delights and discover Guayaquil Country Club, where we're going to play with the nation's most decorated tour professional, Rafael Ponce. If you've been looking to take a trip to South America, you're going to find out why Ecuador should be right at the top of your list. Let's go. All right, we are on our way. I got Daniela Hi. and Amelia with Hi. me Hi. heading to Las Peñas. <laughs> There's 444 steps in Las Peñas that we've got to climb, but if we do, we are going to be rewarded with some of the best views in all of Guayaquil. You can see the entire city from there. And we actually have a really clear day, so it's gonna be really nice out there. You ready? Who's done their exercise today? Ready for exercise? Yeah. <laughs> so this used to um, protect the city from pirates, right? From pirates? Yeah. yeah, that's the story of the hill that we're going up, is this was actually the city of Guayaquil's protection from all the invading pirates. What makes Guayaquil interesting is there's a number of rivers that kind of all collide here. And so this is a very important hill because it's kind of at the collision of all the water. Yeah. Yeah. Oldest part of Guayaquil. <laughs> okay, we're approaching here the beginning. They actually number these steps. So from one to 44, you know exactly where you're at. I think if you could do this, you could pretty much walk any golf course in the world. This is about as hard as it gets. All right, here we go. What makes Las Peñas really cool is that they renovated the entire place, painting all of the old structures, these beautiful bright colors. There's bars, restaurants, and all sorts of things to do. The nightlife is great. You doing okay? You're okay? Yeah. You're okay? <laughs> You're not tired yet? Yeah. No tired? Uh, no. No cansado? No. Okay. No, yeah. <laughs> this is nothing for them. They do this in their sleep. <laughs> they were telling me that they have you have friends that cut you run? Sí. Like First, <laughs> first one hundred. Big milestone here. Where are the first one hundred? So they have friends that run the entire avenue and then they finish off rocky style climbing these steps. I think that's pretty cool. You're okay. <laughs> you're not ready to stop. You're ready to you go. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> what is really nice about the steps too though is you've got little restaurants and bars, little places you can have a snack all along the way. So if you want to take a little break, it's totally possible. But we are going to summit and we won't stop until we have. Are they playing carnival? Yeah. We got some kids playing carnival here. We might get wet. But what the kids do for carnival is they throw water balloons and spray foam guns and you'll see it all over the country this time of year which is mid-february hey. we've made it to the, the middle that's the middle we've made it to the middle okay a little further to go uh oh, Danny looks like she's getting tired. <laughs> of course, I'm the one lagging behind. I'm sweating my 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 face off right now. This is getting difficult.
All right, we are about to hit the 300s here. 300. 144 more to go. You can see the finish line up there. This is way too easy for these girls. They're not even sweating. Meanwhile, I'm in a pool of my own sweat. Because Guayaquil is just a touch below the equator. <laughs> Which means the sun is very strong here. So, right before the end here, there's actually a little park you can rest in. You can see the river. Got a little breeze coming off the river right now. It's nice. But we are going to go forward. Here we go. This is the last stretch. This is it. The last stretch. Yeah, 400. <laughs> We're so close. 418, 19, 420, 421, 22, 23. Okay, almost there. Just a few left. We're 33. That building is the corkscrew. As you can see, it's like twisted. It's really cool architecture. Ganadores. Yeah, we gotta go up there. I gotta catch my breath for a second though. Woo, we did it. The summit has been surmounted. What neighborhood is that? Yeah. This is Isla Santay. It's like Eco Lodge. Ecological? Yes. Oh yeah, it's, there's no development. All right, so we're gluttons for punishment. So we're gonna actually ascend the steps of this lighthouse and see if we can get an even better view of Guayaquil. Las Mas. ultimas. Las ultimas. Las ultimas. Okay, here we go. Spiraling. Okay, we're going up a spiral staircase now, ascending this lighthouse which was built in 1841 to guide the ships in all these waterways here in Guayaquil. And this this is the best view in all of Guayaquil right here. All right, we've just arrived at one of Ecuador's most exclusive country clubs, the Guayaquil Country Club. What a start is. Yo soy Gabriel Aloisi para Rafael Ponce. the best in the business. I got my wife with me. She's here to join us. And this place is in wonderful shape. We're actually going to meet with their PGA professional, Rafael Ponce, who has won three times on tour. He spent like 20 years in Asia and he's played in a number of tours really all over the world. <laughs> uh, There's seven country clubs in the country of Ecuador. Is that right? Uh, I believe it's seven or eight. Yeah. So what separates this course from the others? This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your course record. I know you actually hold the course record here. I came out and I shot uh, 33 front side. And then I came back on the back nine with a 28. So that was wow. a 61. <laughs> That's amazing. And uh, then after a few years, maybe 10 years, and I went out and shot 60, it was 30, 30. 12 birdies, no bogeys. Wow. So that, that's, that, that's the record. 60 is the record. We're going to see if we can break it today. Yes. Well, I, I, think, <laughs> I think we should have a little friendly match if it's okay with you. We're just yeah. going to play nine holes. So you are, I'm assuming, are a scratch golfer. What are, you, are you plus one or two? Uh, I'll play a zero, but whatever okay, you zero. decide on the match. I'm eight, so okay. this is home turf for you, though. So I'm going to take five, five strokes five. from you. Okay. Yes. All right, we'll, we'll play for a club, play. for Club Verde. Club Verde. Okay, you're on. Nice. Wow. That is a tough act to follow. Wow. 
So you've got the Banco de Pacifico that's sponsoring you. Why is that so important when you're out on tour? You have to play with no uh, worries and you only have to think about golf. Right. You, you cannot think about, oh, if I'm going to lay up on, or, on this part five. Because <laughs> if you don't have money, then you're playing with, with that weight on your back. Right. No draw. Were you the first touring professional from the country of Ecuador? Yes, the, the travel on a tour, yes. Yeah. What's that like to kind of carry the flag for your country? Being the first, I don't know, it's a big, big, big uh, responsibility, I believe, to, to do it well. And I've worked hard to be the best player I can be. That's special for sure. What's the best time of year for golf in Guayaquil? Of course, it's in the best shape starting middle of June. Yeah. This close. Okay, hydration is vital when you're playing in Guayaquil, let me tell you. It gets hot out here, it's humid. <laughs> Make sure to bring plenty of water. I'm a Guite fan. Yes. Not bad. You know, there's a lot of people that want to become a professional. They work hard day in, day out, it seems like. But what does it really take to be a professional, in your opinion? Oh, it's scientifically uh, proven that it requires for a skill or, or uh, to, to reach that, uh, that level of high competition, 10,000 hours in any anything you do how's that translate into golf how many golf shots you got to hit to really master oh, the golf shot oh can you imagine it's 10,000 hours uh, whatever million million millions. millions then you have to perform under pressure right that's uh, the that's if, the difference if, isn't that it is, uh, now you can play and maybe shot 3 4 under but to stand there and do it in front of all the crowds and then uh, to do it at the right time right uh, we all on the line but that confidence you reach that confidence through practice so i am what you call in big trouble i'm almost dormy right now i'm three down four to play did just hit a pretty good shot here uh got, probably have a little wedge into the green gotta make a birdie somehow some way gotta do it root for me please <laughs> oh, it's a and you already filled it. You already filled divot. it. <laughs> you didn't finish your swing, you already filled it. I'd like to find a caddy like that in the United States who can fill a divot that quick. You didn't even, oh. you didn't even finish your back, your yeah, back swing. <laughs> already. So after Raphael's inspiring pep talk, I had a putt to keep the match alive. That was the end of our match, but not the end of our fun. We played a number of great holes afterwards. I even had Anna take a swing 
<laughs> and first time she made contact, huge win. <laughs> Oh. You hit your first golf shot. You actually made contact. Nine out of ten people don't make contact, so you did really good. I feel like I'm a good first timer, you know. I'm really lucky the first time. Yeah. The second and third time, <laughs> I don't know about that. You're my good luck charm. We finished the day off in style with a couple of cold ones. Club Verdes to be exact. If you're in Ecuador, this is the beer you should be drinking. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Play Through from Guayaquil. I hope you come and visit it soon. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you back here next week on another edition of Let's Play Through. Mm -hmm.